should have a fine game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. Welcome to you all. Strasbourg will play today, and they play Paris Saint-Germain. I just wonder at what point, Alan, with uh, Paris Saint-Germain, that the, uh, the backers will think, oh, we've, we've plowed so much money into this. You know, are we getting a return on the investment? That the dynamic involves winning European trophies, not just domestic ones. No, that's a fair point, and uh, they do want to see results for their cash, don't they? And it's been an awful lot of cash over the years. The line-up for the home side, 4-3-3, and they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key, because those lads on the flanks it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside support the centre forward and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball so an onus on them Paris Saint-Germain this is their lineup Shots off! he's had a real go it's a decent effort that with plenty of sting in it yeah not far away he really did visit didn't he getting forward well as a team now I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. In with a chance. Well, give him credit for having a go, but it was nowhere near the target. Yeah, he took responsibility, didn't he? And uh, he'll be hoping it's a bit better next time. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. the shot off the bar back into play Angel Di Maria stopped emphatically and just as well the approach play looked very encouraging well, he's cut that out well well read and he's got the ball away from him with the tackle he's got his shot off now Looked to kid the goalkeeper really to play that in, but he played it wide. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. Here's a goal from Dijon. It's a goal for Gingon. 25 minutes played, 1 0. Oh, interesting news. It threads it through. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Defender has taken a gamble. It looks as though it's paid off. Throw in for Paris Saint-Germain. Griezmann. The shot's up. Neymar. Oh, it's a brilliant goal. And it was worth the wait. He's taken the chance very stylishly indeed. And it's given them advantage at last. They've worked hard to get it. And goodness me, they're celebrating it. Well, they all count the same, but he won't ever get an easier one. No, I don't think so. But uh, he was there, right place, right time. Paris Saint-Germain in front. A goal for Gangon. Let's just confirm what Alan McAnally was telling us earlier when we had to cut him short. And that's the first goal of the game. It's 1-0. Griezmann! Gone a little early there, I think. Flags up. Yeah, a bit over-eager to get on the end of it. Just failed to look across the line. A lot of focus on the signing of Alex Hunter and Antoine Griezmann back in January. They cope with that focus well. It's rather petered out in the games in recent weeks. Maybe, you know, Griezmann and Hunter, they're too similar. They both like to run on to the end of things. So, uh, concerns for the manager. Goal news from Lille. It's a third goal. Delicately played through by Di Maria. Griezmann really stretched to make the save. Top class. Paris Saint-Germain have given a steady performance to this point. They have uh, their noses in front. They'd like to have a wider lead, I'm sure, and maybe the second half they'll be able to achieve that. Alan McAnally goes all over the place for us watching games. He's watching Lille. He's seen them score. The score is now 3-0. Good play from the Paris players. 
to threaten the opposition now. There will be a throw now after the tackle. Neymar anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Verdict on added time is two minutes. Cut out by Danny Alves. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Keeper's ball, no question about that. It's a weak cross, really. And that's half-time. Signaled by the referee, 1-0 the half-time score. We're at the start of the second half, and it's Paris Saint-Germain who hold the advantage at this point. It's Alex Hunter. Neymar. Only Hunter! Goalkeeper makes a save. That's a comfortable save. What about Neymar in the first half, Alan? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. There's some potential in this move. Guiding it through to level it up now. Oh, great work by the keeper. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. Well, here comes the corner. Here's a chance. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. Javier Pastore. A return ball. Griezmann. It was good. Pro Great pass from Griezmann. Needs to stay cool now. Saved by the keeper. Grim. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. Oh, he's through. Trying to get the ball in behind. Oh, what a miss. Well, what a chance for an equaliser that was. And I think the tension got to him, tightened up. Well, they're still leading, and they've decided to go for a fresh player in the hope of hanging on to that lead. Grim, news of a goal from Lille. It's another goal for Lille. 67 minutes played, 4-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Yeah, it's the goalkeeper's ball. Griezmann. Lala. Grim. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. To get the equaliser. Great save by a diving goalkeeper. Activity on the bench for the losing team. A substitute getting ready to come off. Corner's taken. I think the keeper had given it up, but not the defender. All about anticipation. He wasn't going to give it up. Got back just in time. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. This is excellent from Paris Saint-Germain. Proper tackle, that. Coming up now, a corner. The ball's just deflected behind for that. It is a substitution now to keep the team on their toes and to keep this lead, they hope. Good defensive clearance there. I'll try the back heel. Penalty at Dijon. It's a penalty for Dijon. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. He steps up to take it. Space for the shot. 
Went for placement here. And not far away, but he'll be frustrated. Well, when you're that far out, I think if you just get some power behind it, the keeper will have little chance, but he chose the other option. The supporters, Alan, trying to play their part here and lift the home team. Yeah, I think they believe, Martin. The question is, do those players down on the pitch believe as well here? Do need to concentrate right to the final whistle in matches such as these, high-quality games. Paris Saint-Germain will be surely aiming to do that just to protect their lead until they get across the finishing line. Very easy for the goalkeeper there. And he keeps possession with that header. Two more minutes to play, that of added time. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. And the referee has ended it here. I think we thought that this team would be brushed aside. They proved those thoughts to be very misguided. Well, I think they'll get a real pat on the back from their manager because they gave it their all. Didn't leave anything out on the pitch there today. Should have a fine game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. Welcome to you all. Strasbourg will play today and they play Paris Saint-Germain. I just wonder at what point, Alan, with uh, Paris Saint-Germain, that the, uh, the backers will think, oh, we've, we've plowed so much money into this. You know, are we getting a return on the investment that the dynamic involves winning European trophies, not just domestic ones. No, that's a fair point, and uh, they do want to see results for their cash, don't they? And it's been an awful lot of cash over the years. The line-up for the home side, 4-3-3, and they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key, because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job, actually, because they've got a come inside, support the centre forward, and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball, so an onus on them. Paris Saint-Germain, this is their lineup. Shots off! He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Getting forward well as a team now. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. with a chance. Well, give him credit for having a go, but it was nowhere near the target. Yeah, he took responsibility, didn't he? And uh, he'll be hoping it's a bit better next time. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. And here's the shot. Off the bar. Back into play. Angel Di Maria. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. A 
Well, he's cut that out well, well read. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. He's got his shot off now. Looked to kid the goalkeeper, really, to play that in, but he played it wide. Time. Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith with you as always to describe it and we're looking forward to something special today eh? well I think so Martin I hope these two teams won't disappoint us Paris Saint-Germain today involved in our match against Nice Paris Saint-Germain this is their lineup Hunter and that's offside and the player court is Alex Hunter Defence squeezed, they knew they'd caught their man off. Good position, they've worked this attack very well. He's got his shot off now. It's bounced back into play from the bar. Mario Balotelli. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Well, I like the look of this attack. Here's the chance. Goalkeeper hangs on. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Guided on by his head. Shots on! We're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. And here comes the corner. Defended well. Neymar, got in the way. Neymar, the shot's on. Well, that's the opener, and it's been coming. The better side, but you have to score when you're on top. We wondered whether they would do that, but they have done, and they've done it in fine style. It was almost an air of, well, we expected this when the goal was celebrated, nothing too extravagant. I think they know they're the better side and they expect to win. No, I think they do. There's a certain swagger to their play. Uh, An inner self-belief. They know they're better. Guiding it through the defenders. Now, this looks promising. Good work to stop the opposition. He's got to clear it now. They can be quick on the break now. They could pose some danger now. Paris Saint-Germain given the throw. That throw has literally tossed possession away. And he's presented the ball to the opposition. No time for an extra touch after the tackle. It's out of harm's way. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Surely! Oh, it really could have been the goal to bring them level. Well, it looked easy, didn't it? He's close in there, getting some stick from the crowd. Really made a hash of that to try and get the equaliser. Jalé. Penalty at Wren. It's a penalty for Troyes. It's going to be Benjamin Nevey. He's put the ball down on the spot. Up he steps. 
Oh, he's hit the crossbar. He's missed it. What a chance. An incisive pass. Corner now. Well, that's good defending. The wasted penalty. Watched by Alan McAnally, he tried to report it to us, but I'm afraid we had to cut him off there. Alan, apologies for that. And anyway, quite clear, it was a penalty that Twa had, but couldn't convert. The score remains 1-0. Just one or two uh, anxious shouts from the Paris Saint-Germain bench. Pleased, I'm sure, down there that the team are leading, but they're not really dominating in this game. One or two suggestions that the second half might be a problem for them. Good movement forward here. Angel Di Maria. And that's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0 the half time score. The start now of the second half. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Able to ease the pressure by that interception. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Neymar puts it into the middle. Jale. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Hunter. What about Neymar in the first half, Alan? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal. To put his team ahead, he'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Jale. Goal news involving Toulouse. It's a second goal for Lille. 60 minutes played, 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Dante. Jale. Javier Pastore. Neatly intercepted. They could pose some danger now. Came in with a challenge. Griezmann. That's a clever pass from Alex Hunter. Strong, powerful clearance. Well, they're still leading, and they've decided to go for a fresh player in the hope of hanging on to that lead. Javier Pastore. Looking for Ben Arfa. Well, that could be the insurance goal here. That little bit of daylight that they were after. Well played, Paris Saint-Germain, for their goal. Well, it was a great delivery into the box from that left-hand side. It's where they look dangerous. Oh, it's a brilliant header. Restarting at 2-0. They've got to try and stay patient here in these closing minutes. Well, the time for patient short passing has stopped, I think. He's got his shot off now. A good try, but a simple save. Room now out of the wing. Dante! Great header, great save! Oh, nothing wrong with that, was there? I thought he was going to score with a header, but top keeping. He probably gets to the point where the strikers feel they're not going to be able to score. This keeper is in inspired form. Comes in with a tackle. Griezmann! A 
goal. Right into the corner via the post. That was perhaps the place where it was impossible to save it. No uh, goalkeeper could have reached that. It clips the post on the way in. Yeah, really good strike. He took it early as well, and I think that's what caught the goalie off guard as much as anything. Attacking well here. One last push from Paris Saint-Germain. You feel just to keep the opposition at arm's length. Incisive pass. And they put him clear with the through part. Hunter! Goalkeeper goes down and comes away with the ball. Well played. Yeah, it was brave goalkeeping. He didn't shirk the challenge, did he? Dante. Could be dangerous. Into the box it goes, along the ground. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. Now, this is an interesting attack, and they've cut it out. And that's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. Javier Pastore. And the referee has ended it here. Well, you don't have to dominate the football to win the match. This is a perfect example of it. No, there were times when they sat off, they allowed the opposition to have the ball, but really did counter-attack well. Today we challenge each other head to head. Hey! 
Asian, save the pop till I wake. I say it not till I mean it. Talk like I be the sun. I'm on top, I'm on top, I'm on top of the world. See me, see me, see me, I'm on the go. I'm on top, I'm on top, I'm on top of the world. We should have a fine game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. Welcome to you all. Strasbourg will play today, and they play Paris Saint-Germain. I just wonder at what point, Alan, with uh, Paris Saint-Germain, that the, uh, the backers will think, oh, we've, we've plowed so much money into this. You know, are we getting a return on the investment? that? The dynamic involves winning European trophies, not just domestic ones. No, that's a fair point, and uh, they do want to see results for their cash, don't they? And it's been an awful lot of cash over the years. The lineup.